It's 2023 at the moment. It just is January 3rd. Um, I've been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, unfortunately. The um, many tapes I have made in an attempt to reach scholars and an informed public have failed, as I largely knew they would. But in examining what the effort stands for, what it meant to me to work so hard, why I did it, and why it has failed. One can put into perspective the circumstances surrounding this um, unfortunate diagnosis. And one of the things that eventually happens to people with Parkinson's is that um, quite a few of us suffer from things like double vision, hallucinations, and um, suffering so severe that we become um, disabled further, even die from dementia. So when or if that happens to me, you can say good riddance to the hard fight for um, human services and credibility that I've engaged in. The perpetrator of what was certainly a crime is what Yevgeny Yevdashenko called a face behind the face. When it comes time to evaluate evidence and circumstances surrounding my point of view, um, the author of the script that was planted on me from Israel, Gail Burson, who was never arrested and who was not poisoned and tortured the way I have been poisoned and tortured, said, there's just that one thought, I can't shake that one thought, is what she said. Well, people who follow the uh, Mickey Mouse Glee Club in places like Wire Club online and St. Louis Today forums, current affairs, realize, of course, that there's a large ensemble of people who have long worked with Robert Fripp of Ken Crimson and Donald Trump on behalf of Yoko Ono, who's behind these poison crimes. She's the face behind the face. In saying that I am to blame for John Lennon's murder, and that the script, which is about um, a crime of genocidal proportions that they deny and would prefer not to go into, is also my fault. And once they have established this idea, it's an override switch. They don't have to answer anything. The perpetrator named in the script who tortured me as a child and implanted a neurological um, agent, burned my facial nerve and manipulated me from within was a psychiatrist named Wattenmaker with children in neurosurgery and neurobehavior research at the University of Pittsburgh. The Wattenmakers um, come from a, Bernard Wattenmaker, the father, was an Attica State Prison Psychiatrist. So naturally, he knew a lot about manipulating people. And um, if he wanted to invent a child's persona, he could manipulate them into circumstances that were beyond their control. Take, like taking me hostage in stolen cars was particularly effective because I was so frightened I didn't know what to do. And then say that I was an accomplice. I was criminal behavior. This was staged by the, the inner circle 
around Pennsylvania authorities, around Michael Todd, Ralph Todd, Milton Sharp, when I was a child. And their legend that they created was that I was to blame for what they say was the murder of John Lennon. Now, getting me to argue that I was not to blame created their story. And it's been a multi-million dollar story. Now they're rubbing me off with the poison that has led to Parkinson's. They're rubbing me off. And there are criminals in Seattle and Tacoma and the state of Washington who gathered around. Clint Eastwood sent me his autograph to get the big story. They're going to cash in on the big story. And anything I say just puts the world to sleep. They just go, oh, yawn, go to sleep. Because they're not going to give a penny to the man who could have saved John Lennon, they claim. The story is quite an elaborate one. It shows a good deal of planning, hostility for American culture, insufferable obsession with so-called important people like Ringo Starr, while people who are bystanders are murdered, so what, they say. People get murdered all the time, they say. And as for the genocide, well, ho, 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 we don't want to go into that. We don't like talking about it. That's a tender subject. Anyway, if there is a genocide, the proceeds from the big picture should go to the victims. And anything I say is going to put people to sleep. For example, if I say, why was Gail Burson arrested? Why wasn't she interrogated? People go to sleep. If I ask, why was Amanda Harcourt, whose namesake Amanda organized the risk management society who poisoned me, leading to diabetes, erectile dysfunction, and now Parkinson's, why wasn't Amanda Harcourt questioned at why in 1984? when they already knew everything that was in this script, knew all about it, knew where it was, knew what it said, they didn't even have to look at it. Question for her explanation, which was simple. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. This is from an attorney who put John Lennon before the entire world. Why was the lookalike of Gail Burson on Robert Fripp's record God save the queen, the back side of it, under heavy manners. Can you explain that? Or do you prefer just to go to sleep? The evidence shows that I was a special object of, because of my American cultural heritage. Crowley goes way back, and they were trying to create an argument, a new age argument, a European royalist argument that America is nothing but wrongheadedness from beginning to end. That was never democratic, that white people were bigots, that we're slave owners, that um, we, cre- we, we cater to George Bush's genocidal tendencies, that he's a war criminal. And these are allies of Bush. Yoko Ono selling uh, the East Asian co-prosperity zone of General Tojo with the idea that Sherman Alexei is the new chief Indian of the neo-woke idea of critical race theory and so on. And of course, a white little boy who's pretty thinks he's special. And this is the explanation that the NAACP offers for just going along with the whole thing in the name of Yoko Ono. Well, It turns out that if I don't question what makes people so sure that John Lennon wasn't behind this, what that double fantasy wasn't literally an illusion to the use of a double, that all of those hallucination ideas that he went into were part of a grab bag of tricks from Pentagon Disney. I have to question, what am I doing on with this script? Why was it stashed on me? If Reagan was really shot the day he said 
he was shot. What was I doing, though, in Washington, D.C., with his Federal Emergency Management Agency attorneys, who he supports in this um, murderous hatred for me, coming from Yoko Ono, working with the people who worked at the University of Pittsburgh with Wattmaker and the Israeli girl, Gail Burson, and Amanda Harcourt, who's their partner and advocate for them. Why did he come out and wave to me the night before? Why did they give me a brochure that says there's no such thing as objective reality, only what the jury believes? And what gives these punks the right to betray somebody from the St. Louis Post Dispatch? So using the St. Louis Post Dispatch's name, banner, masthead, to betray somebody who's authentically from the Post Dispatch. My grandfather was a copy editor there. His graduation cartoon, caric caricature cartoon from the newspaper staff artist has the signatures of hundreds of important writers from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. What are they doing pinning the tail on the donkey without any sort of explanation on behalf of the people who actually wrote the script? I should question that. What makes them think that that's so funny. And they've incited um, murderous criminals and justified it by saying things about, you know, one night stands and so on. I don't pry into their sexual loves. They have nothing on me. They make up stories. Robert Fripp made up a barbaric, ridiculous, criminally insane story that a girl I dated for two years who remained a virgin when we broke up, her virginity proves that I raped her. He actually said this, and he told everybody this. He told everybody. He said rapid eye movement, rapaciousness. He used all sorts of defiant trespass. He used all sorts of stories. And they give me this thing that begins a ten and all. A ten, like Attenborough, a ten, A T E N, A T T E N, which is in Watton Maker too, right? And they come up with this story. I love Greta Thunberg, and they know that I love Greta Thunberg, and they evidently knew that I would love Greta Thunberg, and she's like a Queen Elizabeth puppet show, Queen Elizabeth's Last Wish. I have no desire to hurt her with these words. She's played her role marvelously well. And they're saying I played my role marvelously well. It's puppet masters. They're people who don't care about us. They don't care about anybody. They're just big wheeler dealers like Roger Waters from Pink Floyd who came up with this nightmare. And, when, and, and you know, when you look at the idea of sex education, the human traffickers in the city of Pittsburgh were the ones who didn't want sex education. They didn't want people to talk intelligently or know about it because they wanted children to be confused growing up, pubescent growing up, vulnerable to bait, people who could be used, who could be lured into the guilt trip, the phobias, who could be abused by the church masters, who could be part of the uh, shop and trade of um, inside deals and um, the manipulation of reputations and so on. Amanda Harcourt works with the Broadway musical Hair. What sort of person could that possibly be if not a criminally insane hypocrite so vile that it's like a plastic explosive the hypocrisy that comes from that woman is like a plastic explosive it just blows up and throws you to the ground what else could she be but a hypocrite picking on a person who is a child was molested horribly by adult criminal offenders to humiliate me psychosexually on behalf of what she claims is a real love movement and some orgy franchise. It's 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 despicable. And yet Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, all they have to do is snap their fingers and everybody falls in line under hypnosis by saying John Lennon died. And this guy is the one who could have saved him.
That's what they make up. They make up that whole song and dance. They didn't just draw my name from a hat. It was natural selection. It was revenge by Yoko Ono on the son of a human rights author from the San Jacinto. You know, Bush has been destructive Caligula all through Syria, all through, I mean, they Bush and Clinton, Obama surrounded Russia until they got them to go off. They've been destructive for these Israelis. And Biden's not going to, he puts a menorah in the White House, okay, which is nice and everything. I mean, the Jewish Holocaust did happen. But what's the point of even saying that unless you're catering to nuts? Everybody knows it really happened. But it gave them this idea that they can engage in a terroristic revenge using the American heritage as their font. I don't think so.